in from a state of health. Thank you so much for practicing yoga with me today. I'd like to invite you to join me on a practice that is meant to help us slowly enter the day. This will be a gentle yoga practice that can be a part of anybody's wake up routine. You can start the practice right from your bed if you want to. And perhaps as you get about halfway through that practice, you'll just roll over the side of the bed and join me on the floor for a few of our standing poses. So wherever you're starting your practice, let's begin on our backs. So find a nice comfortable position to lay down. We'll start by bringing the knees in towards the chest right off the bat. And from this posture, just grab a hold of your knees with your hands. And now feel your back starting to come into full contact with the earth below you. Feeling the back of your head resting heavily on the floor. You might even want to lift the head up just slightly, tuck the chin down a little bit, and then lower the head back down to help lengthen the back of the neck. Feel your shoulders rolling down onto the earth. Upper back is fully in contact. Middle back is resting and opening. Even our lower back is able to be in contact with the earth as we're tucking the pelvis under by drawing the knees in. We'll just take a few moments to feel ourselves in this posture and connect with our breath. If you like, you can close your eyes and bring your focus within. Just slowly breathing in, filling the belly space, and sighing slowly out. Letting go of the used up air. Take two more long deep breaths in through the nose and full exhales out through the mouth. We'll start a gentle rocking motion taking the legs and the torso side to side, just massaging our back into the mat, the bed, the earth, wherever you're practicing this morning. Keeping your eyes closed, just focusing within your body and noticing what sensations you have. there's any physical tension, any stiffness, or any softness in the body, any places that feel relaxed and well, keep a neutral attitude and just observe it all. Take it all in, allow it all to be the way it is. That's okay. And we'll come back to our center. Keep the eyes closed if you can. And just slowly lower your feet down to the floor, planting both of the heels in front of your hips or your seat bones. Knees are still up in the air. Just bring the hands to the tops of the thighs or to the hips. You can even place your hands over the belly if that feels nice. One leg at a time, we'll lengthen, extending the legs and letting them go long on our mat until we come lying flat. Bring your hands down to your sides and have your palms facing up. 
On the inhale, let's lift the arms up towards the sky and then bring them all the way overhead. So we lengthen the whole body, coming into a full body stretch. Ah, a couple of sighs here. Each inhale, opening up the rib cage and the belly, spreading the fingers wide and reaching up through the arms. Exhaling, just let it all go, relax. Oh. One more time, big stretch, inhale. Maybe point the toes, lifting the feet just slightly off the mat as you squeeze the legs. And exhale. Oh. Let it go. On your next inhale, scoop your left knee in towards the body. Wrap your arms around it. Hug it tight, pulling it in a little closer to the body. Then inhale, release your uh, grip on the leg a little bit so it can just loosen a little. And then on the exhale, just gently guide the left leg across the right side of the body. Coming into a gentle torso twist here. Your right hand can stay on top of the left knee or on the outside of the left thigh. <coughs> Take your left hand out onto the floor or the bed beside you. You can open that arm out to the side, palm facing up. And if it feels nice, go ahead and just turn your face over to that left side, getting a twist into that entire spinal column. Let's take two big breaths here. On your next inhale, Turn your face back up through center. Just gently assist your knee to come back up as well. We'll take the knee in both hands, squeeze it in once more close to the body, and then exhale, lower the foot to the floor, and lengthen the leg. Inhaling, grab the right knee, draw it in towards the chest. Give it a nice squeeze on your exhale. Inhaling, relax that squeeze, and then draw the leg over towards the left side of the body. The knee is still bent, left hand rests on top of the left or the right thigh or knee, and our right hand can come out towards the side, palm facing up, and perhaps the chin just drifts slightly over to the right side. Again, Another gentle torso twist here. Let's take two more big full breaths. Inhaling, bring your chin and your knee back up through center. Exhaling, give it one more nice little squeeze in towards the body. And as you inhale, lower the right foot to the floor and lengthen the leg, coming flat once again. On your next inhale, bring the hands up overhead again, stretching them tall, coming into a nice, long, full body stretch. On the next inhale, Reach your toes towards your knees. Just flex through the heels, stretch the feet, stretch the palms of the hands, and then exhale, point the toes, relax the hands. Inhale, flex the feet, pull the toes towards your shins. Exhaling, point the toes. Let's do that three or four more times with your own breath. One leg at a time, we'll bend the knees, pressing the feet flat on the floor, 
roll over onto the left side. Take a moment here to cradle your face in your arms. Draw your knees in nice and close to the body. And we'll start to take more light into our practice. So you can start to blink the eyes open. Hmm. Still connecting with our breath. We'll take our right hand and press it into the floor. As we inhale, we'll walk ourselves back up to a seated posture. And let's come into easy pose here. So we'll sit cross-legged if that's comfortable for you. Hands can start out in the lap. So in this new orientation, let's just sense and feel in the body. Notice the spinal column stacking on top of itself so we can come nice and long. Relax your hips, relax your legs, and just let your knees fall out to the sides. On an inhale, start to rise up through the spine, heart lifts, shoulders relax back and down. We'll just take a couple of nice shoulder rolls here, inhaling, pull the shoulders forward and up to the ears. Exhale, roll them back and down. A couple of times. Nice. Let them roll back and down and settle into a nice comfortable spot. On your inhale, turn your face over to the left side. Bring the chin towards the left shoulder. Exhaling, glide the chin across to the right. Inhaling, looking over to the left. Exhaling, gliding across to the right. Just a couple of times, turning the face side to side. Paying attention to any sensation in the shoulders, in the neck, in the throat, and the chest. Hmm. A couple more times. Hmm. Inhaling, bring your chin back to center. From here, we'll drop the right ear to the right shoulder. When an exhale comes, lower the chin down towards the chest. On the inhale, start to roll left ear to left shoulder. You can either do a 360 degree circle or just a half moon circle. So if we're doing the full circle, inhale as you lift the chin up towards the sky. Exhale as you drop right ear to right shoulder, lower chin to chest. Start your inhale, bringing left ear to left shoulder, all the way up to the sky. Exhaling, completing the circle. And if you prefer just a gentle semicircle or half moon, take one full breath as you Bring the head across to one side and a full breath out as you lower the chin, bringing the ear to the opposite side. So whatever feels best in your practice today, go ahead. A couple of slow, gentle neck rolls. And if you're doing full circles, when your chin meets your chest again, stop for a brief pause, then inhale, bring your left, right ear to your right shoulder, and draw the chin up to the sky, exhaling, lowering left ear to left shoulder, and dropping chin to the chest. Maybe you hear a few little crackles and pops, and that's totally okay, just as long as there's no pinching, no pain. If you do feel any unpleasant sensations, just make your circle a little bit smaller. Or maybe just try the half circles. Lovely. Let's just do one more big circle. Finish the semi-circle that you're on. Drop your chin back down towards the chest, and then inhale, slowly lengthen, keeping the back of the neck nice and long. On your next inhale, let's stretch the arms out to the sides, just 
slightly in front of the body. Bring it all the way up. Open the rib cage. Spread the fingertips. Have your palms facing in towards each other. Just take your attention to the space between the hands. You can even lengthen the space between the hands. Bring the hands a little bit closer. Just play with the energy between the hands a little bit. And as we do so, keep breathing deep, full breaths, opening the belly, opening the rib cage and the chest. Just a gentle pulsing above the head. We creep, keep growing taller. The crown of the head reaches high. Let's take one more full breath in to lengthen. On the exhale, turn the palms to the outside edge and then lower the arms down through the space to your sides. Bring the hands back together into prayer pose and place them at the center of your chest. From here, let's take a big breath in. As we exhale, take a twist towards that left side, keeping the thumbs planted on the heart center. So this will just be a really subtle movement. Maybe your hands just start to line up with your left knee. Inhaling, come back to your center. Exhaling, twist over towards the right. Again, keeping the hands firmly planted here so we don't exaggerate our twists. Remember, we're just waking up the body. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist right. Move with your own breath. Always inhaling to lengthen through center before exhaling and softening into our twist.
So we'll come into our hands and knees. Landing into table pose here. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Take a moment to set your wrists up underneath your shoulders and squeeze the mat or the floor below you. Just press your fingertips into the earth. Let the tops of your feet rest on the mat and press all 10 toes onto the mat. So the tops of your toes are gently pressing into the ground and our knees are directly below the hips. On an inhale, start to lift the tailbone up. Drop your belly down and start to shine your heart through the shoulders. Chin can lift just slightly, but our gaze is still down towards the floor in front of us. On the exhale, tuck that tailbone down and under. Lift the belly up towards the back. Press the shoulders down towards the earth and push away, rounding the back. Inhaling, lift the tailbone back up, sink the belly down, pull the heart forward, light gaze forward. Exhaling, just take that tailbone down towards the knees, towards the floor, drop your chin to your chest. Nice round back here. <clears throat> A couple of times moving at your own pace. Inhaling into that cow position when the belly's down and exhaling into cat. Mm -hmm. Nice, let's just do one more here. And then we'll inhale, we'll come back into our neutral tabletop pose. Let's start moving into downward dog. So we'll tuck our toes under. On the inhale, lift the hips up. So lengthen the back of the legs. Drop your chin down. Let the head hang between the arms. And if you feel like you need more space between the hands and feet, you can walk the hands forward and the feet backwards. Just feeling your, your way into your perfect downward dog. So when we're here, we'll take a big bend in the left knee and lengthen the right leg. And then swap sides. So bending the right leg, stretching the back of the left. A couple of times, left and right. And then we'll find some stillness in our dog. So spread the fingers nice and wide. Press the fingertips into the mat. Reach the shoulders back towards the hips. Start to lift the hips up as if the seat bones wanted to face the sky. You'll start to feel a gentle lengthening action in the back of the legs here. Breathing into the belly. See if you can soften your neck, soften your face. Heels will probably start to drift down towards the floor, but it's not our goal to make the feet flat on the floor. Really, we want length in the spine. We want openness in the backs of the legs. So just keep lifting the tailbone up. Keep lifting the seat bones towards the sky. Having as deep a bend in the knees as you need for your morning practice. We'll take one more big breath in, and as we do so, turn your gaze towards the front of your mat. Start to shift your weight forward, so we'll come into a plank pose, just so briefly. On your exhale, bend your knees and let them land on the floor. From here, let's bring ourselves up onto fingertips, and we'll take the right foot forward. So you might need to release your right arm to get it up between the hands. Here you can press the top of that left foot onto the mat, or if you have any sensitivities with your knees, you can keep the toes tucked under. So from here, let's just inhale and we'll lift the upper body up and we'll bring both hands to the top of that right thigh. So what we'd like here, ideally, is to have our hips squared off. 
So just bring your hands to your hips for a moment. See if you can draw that right hip back and the left hip forward until they find alignment. From there, we might need to draw that right heel in a little closer so that the knee stacks above the heel. When we get that alignment again, let's bring the hands just back to the top of the thigh. Drop your tailbone down towards the floor. As you do that, you'll feel a little shift in that pelvis coming under slightly. We get a really nice lengthening stretch in the top of that left thigh as soon as we pivot the hips underneath us. From here, take a big belly breath, lift the heart space and soften the shoulders down the back. The neck gets nice and tall, we gaze in front of us. And I like to think of this as a very humble pose because it's pretty basic. There's not a whole lot going on here, but once we get that nice alignment and we just settle into the pose, we actually can start to feel all the very subtle ways that our body is working to keep us balanced here. So just tune in, take your focus within the body, just notice how well your body works to keep you balanced. For some of you, you may have sensitive knees. And if that's the case, you might want to take a blanket and just roll it up or fold it so that you can place it underneath the knee for a little bit more support. There's no need to feel any pain in your morning practice. Nice. So from here, keep your right hand on top of the right thigh. And let your left hand drop down to your side. On an inhale, sweep the left hand out towards the side and up overhead. Again, we'll just take a really, really tiny side bend, reaching over to that right side, getting beautiful length all the way down that left side body, even into the hip and the thigh now. Couple of breaths here. Try not to collapse in your rib cage. Keep yourself nice and long. We're not looking for super intense arches here, just a little lengthening action on the side. Next inhale, we'll bring it all the way back up. And the exhale, you can turn the hand towards the outside and lower it back down. From here, let's bring our hands down to the mat to frame the feet. Draw your right foot back, coming onto hands and knees once again. Tuck all the toes under, inhale, and we'll lift up our hips again, pressing back for our downward dog. So head hangs heavy between the legs, or sorry, between the arms and our legs. Maybe you need to walk back a little bit so that we can get that length that we need between uh, the hands and the arms. Go ahead and turn the seat bones up. Feel that lengthening action all the way down the backs of the legs. Spread your fingers, press away from the mat with your hands and your arms. Shoulders reach back towards your hips. Let's take two more big breaths here. Oh, lovely. And then on your inhale, gaze forward again. Shift your weight, coming into that plank pose just for a moment. Exhale, bend the knees, drop them to the mat, and we'll come up on the fingertips and walk the left foot through the legs. So you want the left foot in between the hands. You can keep those back toes tucked. Again, if you want, you can bring your blanket and place it underneath the right knee. Nice. On an inhale, lengthen the spine. You get to engage those back muscles. Rise up. Exhaling, bring both hands to that top of that left thigh. So check in with your hips, try to square them off with each other. So perhaps that left hip can come back just slightly. Maybe you heel toe to walk the left heel underneath the left knee. Inhaling, drop the tailbone down. So get that nice lengthening action all the way across the front of the right thigh. 
Then stretch the heart up nice and high, relaxing shoulders down. Back of the neck is long, chin is tucked just slightly. Again, focus within. Checking in, noticing all the tiny adjustments that your body makes to give you balance. Now we'll bring the right arm down to our side. On an inhale, stretch and open the fingers out to the right side. Bring the arm overhead. On the exhale, give yourself a slight lengthening action, bending over towards the left. Keeping the whole spine aligned. Let's stay here for two more breaths. Inhaling, bring yourself back through center. Exhaling, lower the right arm. Bring the hands to frame the feet. We'll step that uh, left foot back. And actually, let's come all the way up into our plank pose again. From here, we'll just lift the hips up and back for our downward dog. Then on your inhale, turn your gaze forward, bend your knees really nice and deeply, start to walk the feet towards the hands. You might want to stop halfway, come up on the fingertips, walk the hands in towards the feet the rest of the way. And then on an inhale, take a nice deep bend in the legs and slowly rise all the way up. Stretching the arms overhead, coming into a baby back bend here. Just lifting the heart, pulling the shoulders back. Energize the fingers. And exhale, bring the hands down to the heart center. To close out our practice, we'll just do a couple of forward folds and then be on with the rest of our day. So inhaling, let's stretch the arms all the way up, opening the rib cage welcoming the sun to shine on us and as we exhale gentle bend in the knees we'll fold forward bringing your arms down towards the floor letting your head be heavy chin drops towards the chest gentle bend in the knees inhale roll all the way back up arms come up last exhale forward fold One more time, inhale, roll all the way up, scooping up some sunlight and exhaling, just forward fold. Last time, we'll come all the way up, big inhale, nice big stretch. On this exhale, we'll bring the hands down through the center line towards our heart. Now, as this is our morning practice, we'll close out with a gentle meditation. So come back into easy pose, and if you like, you can sit on a blanket for a little extra comfort. <sighs> so, because we're starting out our day with this practice, let this be a meditation to set an intention. So bring your hands into your lap, have your palms facing up for you to receive the energy of the day. We'll settle into some stillness and silence, and when you're ready, you can close your eyes. Just focus on the flow of your breath.
What is your heart's desire for this day? What would you like to manifest today? To embrace, to cultivate. If there is one thing that you really, really hope for today, let this be your intention. Repeat a couple of times in your mind. giving it over and allowing the cosmos, consciousness, the divine, the universe to work for you now. Give up the need to act, to take control, just letting it go and trusting. And from this place of peace, surrender, and trust, let us bring the hands together into prayer pose at the heart center. And take a big breath in through the nose, inside out. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. From my heart to yours, namaste.